name is Kapil Thungavelu. I'm the creator and lead maintainer for Cloud Custodian, an open source governance as code tool that's adopted by thousands of organizations to help them accelerate their cloud adoption. Cloud Custodian addresses on a couple of key value domains for these organizations, cost optimization, security, compliance, and operations. Custodian unifies the hundreds of ad hoc scripts that these organizations have into a unified DSL and stateless rules engine that can address across all these different concerns. Moreover, it helps empower the developers at these organizations to adopt whatever tools that they want for their infrastructure as code needs, from Terraform to Kubernetes to Pulumi, all while ensuring that the organization itself is covered on all of these core policies and tenants that they need for being well managed in the cloud. Let's take a look at what a cloud custodian policy looks like. So a cloud custodian policy is written in a YAML DSL and has a few key parts. First part is that it always targets an individual cloud reach type of resource. In this case, we're looking at AWS EBS volumes. Next, a policy defines a set of filters that help it find the things that are interesting to it. In this case, this policy is looking for EBS volumes that are not attached to an instance and that do not have a tag called retain. Finally, we have actions. And in this case, the policy will take an action of tagging these EBS volumes to be deleted in five days. Now, Custodian comes with hundreds of resources across different providers and hundreds of filters and actions. Now, you can assemble these filters and actions like Lego bricks in building out your own policy. And so millions of policies can be expressed just using these primitives. Now, additionally, we have execution mode. Now, Custodian supports several different ways of executing a policy. By default, we use something called the pull execution mode. Now, when you run a policy with pull execution on the CLI, it'll simply query the resources, run them through their filters, and take appropriate actions. Custodian also supports a whole other class of execution modes called event-based execution modes. When you have a policy with an event execution mode and you run it on the CLI, instead it'll actually provision a serverless runtime appropriate for your cloud environment, as well as hook up the event sources to invoke that function whenever resources change. This is what gives Custodian its power to do real-time enforcement and detection of changes in, inside of the environment. Now, in this particular policy, we have what's called an, a config rule mode. This corresponds to AWS's config managed service and when we run this policy, we'll actually provision an AWS Lambda function as well as a custom config rule and hook it up to that function. Now, whenever an AWS EBS volume changes in that particular environment, AWS config will invoke our function and this policy will execute to determine that those resources are compliant to its goals. Now, you can write using these different filters and Lego bricks of filters and actions, you can create hundreds of different types of policies be it remediation, be it customer managed encryption, be it doing saving money with off hours in developer environments, finding unused, underutilized resources and garbage collecting them, creating centralized logging across all of your assets into particular buckets, setting up um, VPC mirroring. Now, the possibilities are endless. Um, I hope you have a chance to come learn more at cloudcustodian.io. Thanks.